Hello. Um, good evening and welcome to this evening's meeting. I was committee, and uh, this meeting is being recorded for publication on the Thatcher Sam Council YouTube channel. So, um, being um, ill prepared, I shall open the agenda. But, uh, don't get the agenda because I suppose you would have a spare copy of the other. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, agenda item one, which I couldn't have needed the agenda for, apologies for absence. Well received, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, so, moving on to declarations of interest. Does any, any of the councillors have any uh, interests that they wish to declare with respect to the agenda items tonight? Thank you. No, no one wishes to. To take and item three, to take as read and confirm the as accurate the minutes of the meeting held on the 25th of July 2023. Uh, anyone have any I propose to take the vote. Okay. Those in favour, thank you, that's unanimous. And then we note that there wasn't a meeting on the 15th of August, so we won't be approving any minutes from that. Matters arising from the previous meeting. Any chairman? Anybody else? No, thank you. So moving on to agenda item five, the West Berkshire Council School Street Scheme, Francis Bailey School. Right. Just a, a brief ed, update for committee. Um, there was a public meeting held on the 14th of August in the chamber here um, that residents were invited to. A number of questions were raised at that meeting. Um, so they were taken away by um, West Berkshire Council officers who drew up a table of responses. And this was distributed to residents of Skillman Drive, Jedburgh Close and Edwin Close. Uh, and there will be a follow-up meeting, uh, I believe, later this month. But now, I understand a date is yet to be fixed. So just to, to bring this document before committee. Um, right, thank you. So uh, for the benefit of anyone watching, this is an experimental traffic regulation order, which means that comments are uh, invited throughout the first six-month period. Don't have to wait to the end to raise it to raise those, uh, any points that you wish to make. So, moving on then to agenda item six, planning applications. I get the feeling this is going to be shorter than normal. <laughs> no applications, Chairman, and also the other items listed, no representations on any of those, so no applications to consider this evening. Thank you, but though I, I note that a number have come in since the deadline for the agenda, so th that will not be repeated at the next meeting. <laughs> so, decision notices. Okay. So there, there's a few decisions to run through. So, um, the first one that is contrary to the um, decision of the committee uh, is Unit 10 Avon Park, Colthrop Lane. And this was um, demolition of existing port cabins and construction of a four-way workshop. Committee raised no objections, but that application has been refused. And I've just highlighted in the whoops, um, in the reasons here, excuse me. <clears throat> it's on a, a flood risk area, and the Environment Agency uh, raised concerns that um, the flood risk assessment does not adequately adequately assess the flood risk posed by the development and the flood risk assessment fails to demonstrate that the finished floor level is set above the 1% annual exceedance. Um, so basically the grounds of flood risk. Yes, yeah, so it's technical grounds rather than um, the sort of issues that the, the issues that the town council will consider. Um, the Cambridge Lake Chalets, I've just highlighted here, although that isn't country, obviously, um, the town council objected, but the reasons for that refusal are significant built form would be harmful to the distinctive character, proposing the result in unacceptable sustainability of trees, landscape character. Um, not satisfied that an adequate increase in biodiversity net gain occupation. Mm. On that one. 
Um, Hound Lane, the committee raised no objection subject to the um, the fill between the, the, the this is the, the wall across the front of the property, uh, the brick piers. Basically, the wall across the front is considered to be within permitted development right. So the, the committee's instructions weren't included in the um, approval for that application because it's within permitted development. <laughs> uh, Fox Club Way, the uh, conversion of lost space. Seems to have been quite a bit of uh, correspondence between the applicant and the planning authority, and they um, have come to a positive negotiation. The original dormer um, with a flat roof well, has now been um, superseded by roof lights uh, for that one, so that has been approved. Yeah, quite a few decisions have been trickling through. Um, five link way, convert loft space to habit habitable room. The, that one wasn't considered, oh, sorry, no objections from committee. That one's been refused. Uh, the proposed dormer will create a bulky addition to the roof of the semi-detached property. Negative impact on the street scene. Um, that <coughs> one. And the final one, 36 Elmhurst Road. <laughs> Um, refuses non material amendments to the development planning commission. Da, da, da. The decision was made. The amendments have been refused because the works in relation to that application have not commenced and therefore the permission has lapsed. Oh. Is that one? Another technical reason. Yes. Um, and that's it. Um, Thank okay. you very much. So. Moving on to agenda item eight, planning matters. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, yeah, so West Berkshire Council um, refused uh, planning permission for this application on 24 Gordon Road, construction of a dormer to side of garage roof. Um, there's no opportunity to submit comments, but the comments uh, previously uh, submitted to West Berkshire Council have been passed on to the Planning Inspectorate. Okay. Uh, that application actually wasn't considered um, under mm. the committee's policy. <clears throat> Just to note. That's interesting. We didn't think it was important enough, significant enough that we would consider whether to object, but West mm. Berkshire Council objected. Anyway, yes. AB. Uh, Limberlost Farm, Crook and Common Road, um, conversion from agriculture to residential use. Uh, this appeal has been allowed by the Planning Inspectorate. Uh, because the decision was not made within the 56 day uh, period and therefore by default the um, appeal is allowed. Okay, well, okay. Right. And then consultation. Right, um, so uh, this is a weighty document. Mm, so I have actually, I wouldn't say I read it into men because in fact it's quite repetitive because it has it, it has a separate section for each um, category of application and uh, the, the things that need to be done for each of those and a lot of them are similar so there's an awful lot of repetition that you can see you don't need to reread it um, so if I start by saying I I, I sort of skim through end to end um, apart from a couple of editorial points which are not really relevant to the council anyway I did think it was quite a good a well written document uh, written in clear English and um, uh, so I'm as some, not somebody who's made a planning application myself I can't judge how effective it is but it did seem to be as as uh, official documents go quite clearly written has anyone else got any had a chance to read it or have any comments on it formally <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I, I, I have skipped through it hmm. um i would 
I'd like to ask a couple of questions, but as a, as a council, we go back um, and say how much public input has it actually had? Have they gone to like local architects and said, will this make things easier for you? Mm -hmm. um, there is also property consultants in and around this yeah. area. Uh, have they contacted any of them to say, does this simplify the process? Does it make it easier? Um, because it may simplify things for uh, West Berkshire. Mm. And that may be their attempt to, to actually do that, which is, you know, it's worthy in, in and of itself. Um, I think uh, that would be a question, the two questions I would ask is who have they consulted externally to see if it would actually have deliver the yeah. the well-needed uh, upgrading of the services. I think there's a limited flexibility because what it's stating is is, is almost entirely statutory requirement. So, yeah, but and, and the, the, there may be statutory requirements, but yeah. West Berkshire clearly don't follow the, the statutory requirements when making decisions all the time anyway. So yeah. there is flexibility within the structure yeah. mechanisms. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, it's probably that's not something that's within, from our perspective, it's that really, really particularly relevant for us to comment on. It's, it is a statutory consultation that they have to do every two years, I believe. Yes, that's correct. So can we, can we for, the, for the purposes of this meeting, note the uh, the document? No, that's not that's that. So in seconding, those in favour of noting? <laughs> oh, we note that one, thank you. Um, any planning matters arising since the publication of the agenda? No, Chairman. Rotting through this. Okay. <laughs> so, agenda item nine: outstanding highways matters. Are those ones that are not yet complete, or ones that are very large? Yeah. Uh, not complete, um, and there has been no updates since June to any of the. Um, so the. Hmm. The report will be as last considered by committee, so I will ask my colleague to chase up some responses mm -hmm. ready for the next meeting. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, uh, 9A, 9B, uh, lower weight drainage works. Uh, just to inform us that something uh, that around has been closed, lower way. Mm -hmm. um, so, we just have to hope that. Uh, that the M4 is not closed at the same time. Do you remember what happened last time the railway was closed? Mm. The traffic was diverted along, uh, there was a diversion sign, but there was also a diversion sign for the A4, along the A4, and the lorries came to the sign saying diversion and turned into lower way, where, where they found a dead end. Um, anyway, so hopefully that won't be repeated, uh, but that's just to note, so I think we just note that. Um, so e-scooters. So uh, perhaps I should have declared an interest here because I walked to the meeting and almost got run down by an e-scooter <laughs> um, who blamed me for not looking where I was going. Interesting, interesting um, interpretation of the highway code. So, um, so this is a, a comment that I received from a resident uh, while I was actually um, uh, walking in, in, in the town, uh, not on a surgery. And um, we, having received this, we noted that the issue has already been raised. Well, she asked if I, if I would raise it with Thames Valley Police, and we, we noted that it has this has already been done following a comment as a, as a town centre surgery. So um, there's no, no need to repeat that. And therefore, um, I will get back to that, the resident and inform them that that's the case. And I think if it, if it wants to be progressed, given that the issue was raised in, in full council, probably it would go back to full council for further action. So we I suggest that we note that with, with that action on myself. So I propose that uh, seconder. Thank you. And those in favour? Thank you. So um, to receive any highways matters uh, arising since the publication of the agenda. Madam Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Great Western Railways, uh, the <clears throat> second attempt at the application. Yes. Um, <laughs> This time it sort of fell, uh, the, the application period fell over the period of the election, which gave us limited opportunity. Um, I think that this is something probably that now, uh, given current circumstances, it might be easier to do some informal progression with um, West Berkshire Council. 
because uh, in order to get a, a better pricing and and an agreement that it could be that on the principle, therefore we have a stronger case uh, for future grants, and this is an annual grant scheme, and there are others. And we could also possibly go apply for matching funding in advance as well. Anyway, so that is uh, nothing we can do about that. So I'm we just note that. I, I'm saying if we if, if we have a any discretion, I ask for a vote. If it's something that where where um, we, we we cannot do anything about it, then um, so it's to naught anyway. Anyway, so yeah, but but we can't um, do anything else apart from I, I will progress that informally okay. outside the meeting. Reports from town council appointees to outside bodies. Flooding. Um, I haven't received any reports, Chairman. Okay, I'll, I will. Uh, I have received some information that the um, that the application for the scheme on planning application for the scheme on uh, the uh, memorial field has not yet been made. So, um, so, so, so that is still in progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and that brings us to the end of the agenda. Wow. And therefore, at well, 16 minutes past seven, I declare the meeting closed. Um.